All right, let's find out how Taekwondo kick works in a fight on a street. Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial. This is Master on behalf of Taekwondo.net. There are lots of debates regarding Taekwondo kicks in a fight on a street. So I'd like to take a look at it, how Taekwondo kicks works on a street, which means without a rule. By using a Taekwondo round out skill as an example, give a favor to each side, to the kick and to the grappling. And I would like to take a look at it, what kind of a technique we can apply against each other. I will show you two different techniques against round out kick, one against middle section and one against high section round out kick. However, technique that I'm about to show you, it is not recommended against highly trained Taekwondo practitioner. I want you to use your own judgment and use it carefully. Our first method that we are going to take a look at is against the middle section round out skip. The technique we learned during the sparring class, that's why I'm going to use it. Stepping forward, block and punch combination against middle section round out skip, right? Instead of block, we are going to grab your opponent's kicking leg. Instead of punch, we are going to grab your opponent's chest or shoulder, even here, whichever possible. Most important thing is I want you to spin yourself inside in the same direction, swinging direction of your opponent round out kick to break your opponent's balance and reduce the strength and power of your opponent's kick. And sweep the other leg of your opponent, which is on the ground, to put him down. And do the rest, once again, use your own judgment. Our right, next method is against high section round out kick. The technique that we are going to use that we learned during the sparring class is blocking movements. Your high section and middle section at the same time. We are going to manipulate this movement. Instead of block your middle section, use this hand to grab your opponent to a kicking leg. Same technique that we can apply against haymaker punch. Here, block and grab and break the elbow. Instead of the elbow, we are going to attack your assailant kicking leg this time. You are stepping forward while you are blocking your facial area and grab your opponent leg. And put him down on the ground. And do the rest if you need it to. If you are a grappler, by making one simple mistake, by misjudging your opponent to kick, the result might be fatal. Alright, those two techniques will just give a favor to the grappler against kick. If you always like to kick, now you have an idea what your opponent might be coming at you. Alright, now let's give a favor to the kick. If you still like to use a kick in serious fight, the first condition is you actually have to know how to kick right. If you think your kick is still sloppy, I want you to be very careful. A lot of kicks that we found on the street fight is quite sloppy. Those are the reason that we let grapplers take advantage of it. If you still like to do kick, just like we learned during the sparring class, before you attack, what we do? We always check your opponent's intention, break their balance. If you see your opponent trying to step in forward, try to grab your legs, right? Then you may give a little fake kicks and try to draw your opponent's attention, and you may counter with a lightning kicks, finish the fight. As we all know, there's no technique, there's no style, there's no art in better than the other. It's all about one individual. Alright, that's all I have in this video. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please give a thumbs up and share with your friend. And if you are new to Tech Owner, please take a moment to subscribe. If you want to support us, please head over to our Patreon page. Alright, then I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. 감사합니다. Yeah.